So I was called to, um, I'm trying to update this VCI, this mini OBD. So this one, you connect it to the Wi-Fi to do the firmware update. So now that I've connected, I'm connecting it to the Wi-Fi. When you select Wi-Fi at that connection method, so you enter your password and your Wi-Fi. So you can use your phone as hotspot, as I'm using my phone as the hotspot. So you enter your Wi-Fi and the software and your mini OBD will communicate through the Wi-Fi. So when you are doing the updates, everything will be done through using Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. Normally, if you use Bluetooth, it doesn't work. So I will prefer you use Wi-Fi to connect to it. So now I'm about to update the firmware and I'll wait for the firmware to finish updating. So if you use Bluetooth, normally it doesn't work. So normally what you have to do is you connect it to Wi-Fi. You connect your mini OBD VCI vice Wi-Fi to the software so that you can be able to update it. So now you wait for it to finish updating or sending the data that needs to be sent to your VCI so that it can update the firmware successfully. And I've not fast forwarded it. This is the real time and how many minutes it will take for you to do this update it doesn't take much long so i'll just wait for my x house mini obd to update and the two two you can see there are two mini obd at the background and um, we have mini obd2 which which has the can fd in it but uh, the old one doesn't have the can fd so this is the update process that you have to go through to update the firmware else if you try doing bluetooth it will keep failing and people are having issues with it so if you try the software and the software is not working i'll prefer maybe you try this one also you try the update through wi-fi connection then you see if it will be able to work successfully without giving you any issue so with this one, I'll just wait for it to finish loading. Then I'll call it a fix because from now, uh, the only thing I have to do is to wait for it because people were asking for another ways of updating your mini OBD2 firmware and there is the other way also. So you can see I'm done and everything is successful. You can see my firmware is v uh, v2.0. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.